Hi, welcome to Learning Pickleball with PPR instructor Greg Ponchat. This lesson is about understanding the serve, not the technique of serving or the skill of serving, but understanding the rules that serve as the foundation for the service motion. Now here's a quick six point summary. One foot on the ground at contact, no bounce, we must hit the ball out of the air. I must use an underhand upward arc motion. The entire paddle head must be below the wrist joint. I contact the ball below my waist and the ball must clear the entire non-volley zone in the serving motion. So here are a list of the rules beginning with 4A1. It's good practice and protocol to announce the entire score before you begin your serving motion. This applies mostly in tournaments, but it's good protocol for recreational play as well. Number two, the service motion begins when I move my arm. So I announce the score before I begin to move my arm. That's the way it's supposed to be played. Number three, at the beginning of the serve, both feet must be behind the baseline and when I strike the ball at least one foot must be on the plane surface or ground behind the baseline within the serving designated area. That means between the outside line and the middle line of the service box. I cannot touch any of the plane surface outside that area and still have a legal serve. Number four, the ball must be struck out of the air. There are exclusions given for persons with disabilities who may bounce it, but for the mobile person I cannot let the ball bounce in serving. Number five, I must serve with an underhand stroke and my arm must be moving up when I contact the ball. Look at this illustration. If I'm hitting down or putting underspin on the ball, that serve is illegal. Number six says the paddle head location must be below the server's wrist. The highest point of the paddle head cannot be above the highest point of the wrist. In this illustration, upper left is illegal. Bottom right is now legal because the entire paddle head is below the wrist joint. Contact with the ball is made below the waist level. And the waist is defined as the navel. So I cannot throw the ball up at shoulder height and hit it. It has to be below my waist. Number eight says I must serve to the correct service court, which is diagonally opposite the server. We call this the even and the odd side. And in serving, the serve must clear the net and the entire non-volley zone, including the non-volley line. If a ball hits the non-volley line, it is an illegal serve or a fault. I can hit any other line, the outside line, the sideline, the, the center line, the baseline, those are all legal, but the non-volley line must be cleared. So one foot on the ground, no bouncing, underhand with an upward arc, the entire paddle head below my wrist joint, contact below the waist, and I must clear the entire non-volley zone. Never forget that in pickleball you cannot score a point if you cannot get the serve over the net and into the correct service box. Very rarely does a serve result in a point either due to an ace or a forced error. So understand serving is about getting the ball in play not winning the point. 